Thanks, Jared. Well, those single-digit temperatures, moderate winds, and sub-zero wind chills grip the inland northwest today. Conditions have people bundling up and plumbers scrambling to cause of frozen pipes. KXY 4's Eric Loney is live in the elements with the story. Eric? Yeah, where we are in downtown Spokane, this thermometer has our temperature here about 11 or 12 degrees. Now, that's been forecasted for several days. We talked to several plumbers today who said when they see that forecast, it's a sure bet they're going to be busy. That's the cold. Chelsea Hansen just wanted a warm start to a single-digit day. We'd get plenty of cold water, but the hot water, as soon as you turn it over to hot, it would just turn off. It didn't take her long to figure out her year-old home had frozen pipes. Frustrating, yeah. Especially when you're so cold, nothing sounds better than a hot shower. Hansen was among the unlucky today who had to call a plumber, like Roy Jacobs. Jacobs says days like today are always busy. Oh yeah, sometimes we're 20, 30 calls backed up. I'm headed to Newport next. Jacobs first headed below the house to find the frozen pipe. Trying to track it down, just got to go until you find it. And... Then check the attic, and then squeeze down under again. Man, there's 50, 60 feet of it, it's frozen. He found the icy pipe and the problem. Hansen hadn't blocked these vents in her foundation for the winter. All that cold air is drawn directly on the pipes. And she had no idea she needed to do it. Last year it was just as cold and we didn't have any problems. Another problem. All of Jacob's heaters to defrost the pipes are being used. She's going to have to get an Arctic blaster or something out here with some heat down there. Hansen was working on it in hopes she'll still get that hot shower sometime today. I want to give you a few more tips for hel uh, to help if you get uh, frozen pipes in the coming days. Now, if you have sinks on exterior walls, you can leave the cabinet doors open for those sinks so heat can reach the pipes. That's an important one. You can also leave a trickle of water running in the highest faucet in the house. And you want the stream just to be about as thick as the, the lead in a pencil. And finally, if your pipes do freeze, never thaw them with an open flame. That could start a fire. Use a hair dryer or a heat lamp, heat tape, or an electric heater. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.